Hello, my name is Johnny and I'm a graduate student studying statistics and data science. I am here today because I want to make, I want to give back to the organization that has given not, me nothing but support from the very beginning. I came into SHEP knowing how great it was and the amazing things that its member has accomplished. Just like how those members inspired me, it is my turn to inspire current and future members to, as well. I want to target people like my past self, who never gave Shep a chance. I, w I did my undergrad at the University of Houston, never joined any organization, went on to graduate and found myself into a career where I was not happy in. Thankfully, I was blessed with the opportunity to come back and do the things that I did not do during my undergrad. I was able to achieve the goals I had set for myself in, in the first semester, thanks to Shep. Now, as Vice President Internal, I want to encourage our members to pursue graduate careers. I will do this by offering events where I'll have the description of available programs and the, and the benefits of joining them. Secondly, I want to promote STEM awareness and carry on with ideas such as hobbies of Cougars Changing the World competition so that our members can uh, highlight their initiative and their skills to potential employers. Lastly, I want to remain, uh, keep our contacts with alumni strong so that we can continue with their support for future events. My goal is for people to think of Familia when they think of Shep. I want to change lives and I want Shep to be a home to these lives. My name is Johnny and I'm running for Vice President Internal. <laughs> Okay. Um, thank you for your speech, Yanni. Um, you. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, hear you clearly, man. Okay. So I have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask you. Uh, starting off with, what is most important to you and the organization? The mission, the vision, or the core values, and why? Oof. Okay, so core values are familia, resilience, education and, um, and, and that that's the mission and then there's so many so I would like to say that familia is very important to me because it's unity and it helps us grow as a as a as an individual getting in contact with lots of people really helped me be able to communicate better with other members and kind of like helped me when it came down to like interviewing and selling myself so I think familiar aspect is very important. Sec but secondly, uh, I would like to say that professional development is also very important. All right, this next question. Uh, so I know you have about, you know, you'll be taking 20 hours uh, for class, for classes next semester. Uh, the BPI position, you know, is one of the most time consuming positions on mm -hmm. the eboard. And it does require, it requires a lot of incredible time management skills. Uh, what have you done in order to prepare yourself for this position that you're running for? So in the first semester, I was able to handle being in an organization, having a part-time job, and then going to school part-time. So thankfully, I was able to do 20 hours of each. Uh, and I felt like that was a great balance because full-time is doable. But 20 hours added to that is also doable. So I think I can handle it pretty well since next semester I'll be doing part-time as well for my graduate courses. And then I um, haven't found a part-time job for the next semester yet. So I will be focused on SHEP while I'll be looking for a part-time job. Okay. Uh, now the last question. Uh, as BPI, one of your, more, your major responsibilities is the compliance and delivery of the NRP report. Uh, this report is meant to summarize the quantitative and qualitative effects of the efforts of your team and the chapter as it pertains to the five pillars of CHEP, the mission, the vision, and the core values. Uh, which are, which of the, you know, the five pillars, which are chapter development, professional development, academic development, leadership development, and the community outreach, which out of the five areas do you believe needs the most improvement at CHEP UH? And what do you recommend uh, for it to be improved? And how will you measure the success of it so it can be re uh, uh, reflected in the NRP? OK. 
can you repeat the question uh, at the last part where you say um, which mm -hmm. After, after you say which the uh, area needs the most uh, development or yeah. more improvement. So out of the five pillars, right, which one needs the most improvement? Uh, what do you recommend for it to be approved? And how, do you, how will it be measured for it to be successful and to be reflected in the NRP? Okay. So I think the pillar that must be mo mostly improved, which I think all of the pillars are pretty great right now, but the one that must be improved is leadership uh, development. I feel like there should be an event, for example, like it could be a small little event, just have like a group of people and then take turns leading a group towards uh, a goal that we have. So we can have like an event at a park or anywhere and then say hey, we're trying to solve this problem or trying to uh, yeah, solve this problem and then give the opportunity to different people at a time uh, to lead this group and to provide solutions and to see what happens after these events or event we, we could see um, member participation like the, the people who participated in that event to see how much we can we can value like we can see if they're going to general meetings we can see if they're uh, posting in those on the slack like um, for example if they found a, a scholarship or they found like leadership opportunities uh, to see if they they do those types of things, so we can measure quality in that aspect. All right, thank you very much, Johnny. Those are all my questions. Thank you.